what kind of level of skill that you can bring to the class there, okay so basically last week is a very is a very simple kind of exercise there some groups okay that i did in saturday classes they told me okay why actually right they have only a short time to complete this exercise there okay basically in our practical class normally there are okay in traditional medias everyone should do those kind of exercise okay on the spot there okay so everyone has to do those exercises on the spot there right, right now we have an online that means you have at least eight hours one day to complete that kind of simple exercise there right but for you guys have the privilege to wait until six days right okay? that mean you have uh, the, the, another session there okay like like today that mean you have a little bit more time for you guys to complete it but when it comes to the serious kind of assignments of course we have more time like two weeks time to complete one assignment there all right but for now basically uh from from today every exercise every groups need around five days at least to complete all right five days to complete that mean make sure you know how to organize and plan basically your kind of moments to develop yourself but if you're lazy enough to practice you won't be able to get it right it's simple as that it's all about practice there right? it's just like a spot there right all right the more you practice the more you will get it right so now for today basically i have uh, i have what we call that uh try to get try to pick some of the right pictures for you for us to work but i have I had I had to divide into two different kind of exercise for this week. One, the first exercise going to be the test kind of brushes or if you use pencil, for example, you you're going to need to do the same thing there, right? Okay? Same thing there, right? That mean uh, if you, your seems doesn't get your tablet, don't worry there because the methods of working are going to be the same. All right, for examples here, right? Okay, we got around 20 people there. Okay, let me check back again. 21 there, right? I think around 19, it's not here, right? Okay, Jiang Yi is here, Jiang Yi is here, Jiang Yi. Jiang Yi, all right. Half of the space there. Uh, Yin Chi? Yes. All right, Wei Yin? Yes, yes. Okay. Uh, Jin Yi? Yes. Uh, can you? Yep. Sarah, right? Yeah. Sarah here? Sarah. Where is it, Sarah? Where is it, Sarah? Let's see the Sarah here. Okay. Uh, Ziki, Pong Ziki. Yeah, yeah, I'm here. Where were you, Ziki? Outside. Huh? No. Huh? Yes. Oh. Where, where is it? You outside? Huh? No, no, inside the room. Oh. Hear all the sound of the what we call that cars and everything outside there. Yeah? Gilbert is here, right? Yes, yes, right. I'm here. Okay, she's in. She's in. Yes, I'm here. I'm here. All right, okay, okay. Zhu Yun. Zhu Yun here. Where is Zhu Yun? Zhu Yun, you always see me there, right? Hi, Zhu Yun, are you here? Let me check her there, right? Here. Yes, it's me, right? Yeah, Zi Yin. Uh, Zi Yin. Joyce. Zi Yin. Or Zi Yin. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah. You hear? Not Zi Yin, right? Zi Yin. Lai Zi Yin. Let me check on her there, right? Here. Whether she's get also the message.
after this, do you have any classes there, you guys? Do you have any classes after this, after 4 o'clock? No. Mm -hmm. okay. Okay. All right, so we can extend a bit of time, all right, today. Anyone actually rushing, all right? No. No, no. Right, so we are, we are good to Sir, I have dinner. <laughs> Every, everyone have a dinner there, right? You can have a dinner online there, right? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Because I'm, can it... I'm prepared from Sudapak go to Sanwe, so need to yeah. on as time. You, uh, as long as you can get the, what we call that, whatever that we have go through right now, okay, in the process of working, so that means you can dismiss early like, if you want to there, right? Okay? Right. I don't know if you do you need to see another thing. All right. Do you see any see? Oh yes, it's me. All right, Jawi. Yes. All right, Wishin. Yes. Zen Zen Han Zen Han. Yes. All right, Zen Yi. Do you hear me? Right, twenty one. Do you hear me? Okay. Okay. Anyone actually do? May May who you see May who? Yan Ying, Ka Hong, Ka Hong. Yes, yes. Right. Yes. Yan Ying is here. Yes. Yes. Uh, Jing Jing Tech. Yes. Sanjay here. Sanjay, right? Yes, sir. All right. And Xin Huan. Yes. Ziyin, is it Ziyin? And Xin Yi? Uh, yes, I'm Ziyin. All right. Xin Yi. Ziyin. All right. Xin Yi. All right, if I miss out, okay, your name, so okay, please let me know. Okay, you guys can see the, the screen, all right? So, okay, the first exercise that we should actually work okay, for this week. Right, if you seem to use uh, pencils there, pencil for example, so I want you guys to work with the, this kind of circle line. If you use tablets, it's okay. Right, create this kind of circle line there first. All right. How to create the circle line? Right, let me show you. Okay, uh, if you're using those, uh, what we call that uh, sketch, okay, sketch pad, sketch books, or A4 papers, use at least fifty percent, uh, fifty cents point, and draw the line there. Okay, simple as that. Okay, or you can also use. Uh, well, basically, your hands there, right? To draw. More better there, right? So, draw using those lines there, right? Let me see using pencil there, right? Draw this kind of simple kind of lines, uh, circles there. Okay? This one there, right? Even though the circle doesn't look quite basically perfect, it's okay. Right? So I want you guys to draw or construct at least, right? You can actually log them, merge the links, right? I'm going to go through this a okay, lot already. Want to copy the right key? I click Control and Alternate the right key button there together, and click and move. Like this one. Okay, using circles there. Right? If you want to have a quite 
organized kind of line of shapes, okay, like using coin here, okay. Don't forget to add new layers first. Click shift, click shift buttons there, right? Okay, let me show you, right? You see here, shift buttons, shift buttons, and then I move my hands there. Hold the shift buttons and move, right? Okay? Everyone can see there, right? How it works? Yep. Okay. Yes, yes. So what you can do, okay, go for edit, strokes. You can change from with the line strokes with from two points or three to make a thickness of this line there. And then the selections buttons that you can see from here, there, right? To deselect this areas, you can use Control D. All right, Control D, Control D, or click to this areas. All right, you can actually use the to the menu there, right? Control D or click to the deselections kind of buttons there. But make sure you add new layers there. Without having new layers, okay, I'm click control to go back into the move tools there. You can't actually move the lines there. If you accidentally draw the same shapes in the background there, right, okay, that means you won't be able to, you have to redraw back, you know, add new layers there. Click to the lay, layers, new layers, then do another around there, right. So what you can do right here, if I want to move around the shapes here, click shift alternate together with control. I can get one straight line to arrange the, the whole shapes there, right? Okay. The next thing that I can do, if I want to, uh, what we call that, uh, link all these layers, three layers together, because I want to scale a little bit. Control T to scale. Control T to transform or scale there, okay? So you can use scale buttons like crop buttons to work there. Right? Normally, I'm using scale button or transform buttons there, all right? Three transform buttons there, right? okay? Control T. So what I can do right here, scale a little bit, click enter there, right? And then, Move around there. See? So, and normally, if you use new versions, you just can select them without having this kind of uh, chain kind of layers, uh, what we call that buttons there on the layers. You just select them up there, I think. Select them up there. You can try that. So, when, when I have this kind of shapes here, I think what I can do. Can actually link the whole layers for these circles. All right, make sure you click to the to the to the shapes to the line, all right? And then you can actually sorry. I accidentally create a new layers there. Right? Then you can actually arrange the Right, all the circles, right, in one page. How many circles? Okay, based on mine, actually around what? 16? Or 34 there, right? Okay. So up to you. So the thing is right now, why actually we did all these kind of circles here? This is basically, right, you can use a free hand kind of shapes of lines because if you use a free hands they will be more better for for us to practice our hands there I think to control the pressures there. If you use pencil okay what you can do okay pencil there right let me show a little bit how it works.
if you see you if see you using pencils or colored pencils, right? I have pencils over right here. If you use your sketchbooks around you, what you can do. Either using landscape, this is a portrait format. This is landscape, right? If you use landscape format like this, right? Draw the circles here. See the way I hold my pencil pen. You guys can see from here, there, right? Okay. Draw the circles there. You see how actually I did my circles there, right? So this exercise basically is good for even though if you use tablet, we actually don't use this kind of methods, right? They are holding those pencils there. Are we using this one, right? Same thing. Right. But the methods or the effects of the pencils when you shade is different, right? Is totally totally different because uh, there's a few different kind of difference way of working using because when we use traditional medias we can the way we hold the pencils especially when you want to shade the right if you use this kind of way of holding pencils there right when you want to shade you have to hold like this one there right you get the strokes here I want to see right here whether actually I can get it right for the screen. So the shadings are going to be a little bit more like this. Okay. Shading there. You see that? Okay. So if you use these methods of working with your pencil there, right? Okay. Shading there. Then you have a different kind of way of working there. If I want to control the pressures and make the pressures look a bit more take that right. You see the difference there. So way you hold your pencil, you move the flow, control the pressures are going to be absolute difference there. Right? So all these methods of working, when it comes to work with digitals will will basically affect your quality of line quality of your what we call that brushes that you work there right okay? quality of your strokes there all right so that means shortcut key right okay? basically though all the shortcut key that you guys have right uh, that i actually introduced you guys please practice along the way there okay? Right. Can hear sleepy yet? You sleepy a bit, right? Right. You 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 the one who do it. Uh, you haven't got those tablet yet, right? So use pencil first, right? Okay, to practice there. All right. If you check look at how actually I do my work here, okay, because we have double screen there, right? Okay. I want to see how actually you guys can see how actually I move my hands like when I draw there, right? Okay? So first exercise, okay, draw a few circles. All right, if you seem to have a few brushes that you guys can use, I don't want to name the brushes yet because my standard brushes that I use is these three brushes, the all media wet flow, wet sponge brush, rough brown bristles there. I want to show you guys what are the difference there. But when you get your own, your own version of Photoshop, uh, the new versions basically they are going to be a number of different brushes that you guys can test but the results are going to be the same for drawings if you can get as similar brushes as this all right this all media wet flow brush this is a 32 there right okay number 32 right besides there right okay they call all media wet flow brush oil medium wet flow uh, the name is quite long directly brush 
okay, or with the wet flow brush. This is the brush that I normally use, okay? This is the size of 32, all right? So if I use 10 point directly, I can get a very soft kind of strokes there. If you can see the way I move my hands there, right? Okay, we can add random etchings with this kind of line there. Don't just draw like this one, huh? Okay. Move one step at a time and try to get the right kind of flow and strokes there. It works. This is what we call a little bit like the cross etching there, right? Test with your brushes for today. And then we're going to do some sort of line exercise there that I show you guys okay later on there, okay? So there's a this is a this is a 10 pointer okay of size there for the brushes. All right. So wet sponge brushes, what is this for there, right? Okay? If you use 55, flows 100 percent This is transparent brushes there. If you don't actually take those what we call that brushes off, right? The surface, they will get this kind of effects. If you paint on top of it, ah, all right, okay? So they get uh, a quite transparent there. So these brushes is good for us to work with the, okay, if I use six to blend, right, okay? Some shading slime maybe depending on the way of your working there. Right? right, this brush is here. You can see the different result directly. Yeah. So this is what we call wet sponge brushes there. Sponge brushes. Okay, when we do this kind of exercise, it doesn't look a lot of great effect with these brushes there. Okay, but when it comes to draw some people's characters, whatever that you want to blend, right? Okay, for shadings, you will see a lot of those results there. Okay, this is one of the texture brushes, like a dry media brushes, like a all paint a little bit like acrylic okay that i actually love to use to paint some of the skin effects or patterns or shadings there okay you guys can change the size by clicking to this buttons there okay this what we call that close cap open cap button there right okay key like this one there right? right this one for make it smaller become bigger size of your brushes then see inch so that's why your right hand or your left hand if you're left handed right okay, always always right on the keyboard there when you change your size they will affect also the areas that you want to paint when you change the flow the flow cell there right they will also if give some effects there right okay? on your quality of your paint styles there right right that one is a rough round bristles there so the name is rough control z or control alternate z to do more undo there right? okay buttons there rough round Bristol brush there. This is some of the general brushes that you can get from. I think these brushes have been using have have been added in the standard or general kind of brushes since Photoshop's five four. I don't know. I can't remember directly until CS directly until yes this CS directly. After that, they create some of the various type of traditional brushes that you guys can use. So like pencil brushes that have, charcoal brushes that have the right, okay? So play with the flow, 
screen with its size, you can work on that, right? Okay? And of course, I don't have this one, right? So what are the brushes that I also use to paint for the soft edges, like soft round brushes there, right? Like air brushes there, okay? So these brushes basically is good if you change the flow until one or two there, okay? Uh, you can actually use for blending the shadings and blending there. Okay. Just like using color pencil or, or pencil or charcoal or soft pastels that works. Okay. So this is very good kind of what we call that. Okay, this is a soft, sorry, there. soft brushes there, right? Soft round brushes. And I want you guys to test there, okay? Some of the brushes that you might think you will experiment later when you draw there, okay? So complete all these circles, name of the files, a name of the brushes, and then save control, save as into JPEG files, okay? This is our exercise number one there. Okay, pass first the brushes. Change the flow, basically, you will get the right kind of strokes that you works. Normally, we, I'm using this tool. I rarely change opacity, but depending, you can experiment later on, okay, with the, with the, with the way of working there, right, okay? So, any questions about this exercise? These are going to be our first exercise that represent, all right, okay, how we're going to test them, right? Don't forget to put your name, for example, here. Right. Uh, your name of the classes. Right, yeah, man, group one. Okay. Week two. Exercise number one there, right? Number one for week two there, right? Okay. So how many pages? One pages is more than enough for me. But if you test more, it's okay because some this is only a a little bit kind of like proper kind of way. Like normally I didn't use this kind of things there, right? They just want to give give you guys a bit more kind of disciplines, okay, kind of thing, right? They, you guys can test some of the brushes like chalk, chalk brushes if you use uh, Flow different flows, you can get this kind of strokes there. See, pass with right. If you use a uh, different kind of brush, there's a few brushes like effect brushes that I actually rarely use. Right, right? this brush heavy flow scattered brushes. See the difference, like uh, soft pastels. Because all the brushes basically, there's a certain kind of brushes that we'll use, very useful for our works. Right? Why? I tell you guys all these kind of things because, right? If you go back into, all right, our my kind of what we call that works that I've done before, okay. For example, this one, right? All right, this painting that I actually created, okay, in 2009, I think, I used that kind of brushes there. I'm using uh, rough from Bristol brushes. Okay. I'm using line, uh, this, what we call that, okay, this line basically, where is it? Right? Some of the line that I create, right? Some of the line that I create. I'm using all media wet flow brush. Right. I'm using different kind of brushes also. All right, okay, to practice there. Right, okay, some text to, to to create some sort of text this. All right, this is uh, what we call that this scorpion that I draw there, right? I'm using I think I'm using those all with the web flow brush there, all right? So because normally I'm using these three brushes there, soft brushes. Uh, sorry, rough from crystal brushes to paint. 
uh, and then uh, how actually I get this kind of solid kind of shapes using lasso tool I'm going to show you guys okay, from time to time how it works there All right because normally I'm using this kind of technique in digital medias there the same goes to this illustration that I did there I did use a lot of change the flows and paint the backgrounds using the light kind of effects using those uh, rough round bristle brushes that it works okay So those are the things that works for those brushes there, right? If you seem to use uh, AI, Adobe Illustrators, basically we can illustrate Adobe Illustrators workflow like this. This is one of the illustration I did using Adobe Illustrators there. If you seem to learn Adobe Illustrators later on, right, using pen tools, you can get this kind of quality of illustrations there. But I didn't actually going to work with Adobe Illustrators for my classes yeah. because this is purely illustration and we actually work with traditional there okay? So I'm going to adapt traditional kind of look and feel for our exercise there, right? Okay. Same goes to this one, you see. This one is AI kind of uh, illustrations that using Adobe Illustrators there. This is one of the design that I actually create for one of the wall right in cyber jaya directly okay? they print it out in the usual uh print there right these stickers there it works okay so this illustration i mix them up all right some textures brushes uh with uh different kind of tools and software directly okay? i'm using flash for these characters drawing line here okay this is the drawing line that i create for uh, using what we call that on me do a flow brush some image manipulation or photo collage there all right so using photoshop that works okay you guys can work with a photoshop that you run there right so those are the brushes it's all about okay why actually okay this is one of the this is not my kind of illustrations but you can see some of the illustrations here they use also but these illustrations, I look at the demonstrations, they use AI, the new AI directly. But if you use Photoshop also, you can get this kind of a result of this illustration. The same goes to this one. All right. So it's quite interesting if you really, really know your brush that first. That's why practice the brushes here. Okay. To work with it. So those are the first exercise. This is the first exercise there that you guys can actually practice those brushes there, right? Okay. If you see 24 circles line is not actually quite enough, you can practice a bit more. I have also downloaded a few brushes that like look at watercolor textures there, see? So these kind of brushes, basically I've done a lot of these kind of texture brushes. I don't know whether I have right, okay? Uh, because I have my samples of works in other media, the other thing what we call that platform there, right? Mm. Where is it? Okay, some of the brushes here that I use, okay, for this short kind of comic there, using some a bit kind of all media with flow brush a lot with some of flat brushes that I have that I used to have there, okay, but now I cannot get it right. There's some texture brushes there more, right? Some watercolor brushes. All these things using digital there. Alright, this is a traditional one. I'm using sketchbooks and so watercolors that works. Okay. So I come out with my children's drawings that works. So all these kind of drawings there, okay, that I create for my short comics there, samples, using digital sketchbooks and brushes and tools. So that means we can do almost anything based on your skills. Right? If you want to become illustrators or choose your kind of way of working, there, okay? this is one of the workshops that, that we actually create there. Okay? All right. So if you take a look, okay, this is basically 
my kind of way of we that explore those styles and illustration that I think I'm not actually trying to limit myself, but uh, nowadays I'm going to work with more comfortable kind of stuff that I felt imp really important for us to work with uh, the project itself. Right? Yeah. This is my self portrait of it based on my own styles there. As I told you guys maybe before, I have a CT scan right a few years back, right, because of not 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 quite quite kind of what we call that serious kind of thing say, but doctor have to do some CT scan because I pasted a few times directly. Because not actually have enough sleep there. So this is my skull there, right? I'm using it as part of my artwork there for self portraits. All right, have fun with it, man. All right. So those are the things that that actually uh, the thing that I actually explore with some of the brushes, right? I really love using these brushes there, right? Like the slight brushes here, right? With, but make sure you change the flows there first because. When you change the flow, you can get the right kind of effects for your brushes there. Okay. So this is a watercolor, light opacities, right? If you change the size, uh, they're going to be affect your shapes there, right? Okay? Your your paint styles there. If particularly right now, I try to create a three D kind of sphere there, okay? Three D kind of sphere there. Using white colors, so they change from the color code over here, there, right? right? To get a 3D kind of looks there. Okay. For the circles become a sphere there, right? Okay. So practice first these brushes, right? For a few minutes or few hours there, right? Okay. Test with right, okay? and then. When you get the strokes right, right, this is what we should do. Okay, now I will give this picture to you there, guys. Okay, okay. copy and paste, scale a little bit. When you want to scale, make sure you right click shift and scale and control. Sorry, direct click shift to scale. All right. Because if you click shift, they're going to be distort there, right? Okay. We want to, if we don't want to scale the pictures and look like this one, like distort, like it's not look professional there. So click, scale there, right? Okay. There. All right. Move and scale a bit there. Don't have to make sure that the the the, the size are going to be actually accurate, okay? Because Whatever that pictures have gave us right now, I think if they use this kind of what you call square kind of shapes, don't try to make it into landscape directly. Because otherwise you're going to be look those pictures a little bit more like uh, distort directly. So it doesn't basically portray a really kind of professional kind of way of working directly. Now, if you don't have those tablets, okay, don't worry there. Use these pictures to draw back again on your sketchbooks. Okay. So what I can do right now, I'm going to show you guys the first thing if you use tablet, and then I'm going to show you guys how actually I did draw in those what we call that uh, pencils there to work. There. So what I can do right now, I want to change these colors there again. Okay? This pictures into grayscale. What I can do, click to this fill boxes that is, make it into a black and white kind of fill in boxes there. Okay? So go to image, adjust, gradient map. So they turn these pictures into grayscales there, all right, black and white. So the next thing is what you can do here, okay, I click V to change into what we call that brush button is not there right this is brush kind of tools key into move tools there so what i can do right now go to opacities on the layers and change 
Why? Because we can actually get the right kind of layers that we want to draw later on. Don't forget to save your files. Then I come to draw on top of it. Right? Okay. What I said before, okay, what I told you guys before, okay, all using your flow brush. The good thing about learning using digitals is we have the privilege to draw on top but not to trace them. If you take a look at the pictures, they have a very kind of not solid kind of shape there. The lines look a bit more like this one, right? Don't follow them. Huh? What you can do, move your lines one step at a time. There. Move and release there, right? See, move and release there. These areas are a bit more soft there, okay? So why don't you start from here? Okay. See? So the way that I move my hands also will affect basically your kind of way of drawing there, right? So in drawing, basically, they have also the same kind of methods of working with those lines that we call, we want to show the, some depth of fields. So for this week, okay, some textures line, using some wavy line there, right? A wavy line there, see? If you check a look, the quality of line that I use to draw are going to be difference, right? Some thick line for the shadows, all right? But I'm going to change the strokes there, right? Okay, change the strokes there. So learn to develop this kind of outline that fills there, right? Okay. This week we're going to study about line there. Normally, right, okay, when students study about line for a few weeks, combined with shapes, we are going to do a lot of observation exercise. So now our observation exercise are going to be using those digital media there. Observations that mean that you try to create some analytical kind of understanding here to draw the line using those uh, brush tools there, right? The, the, the appropriate kind of brush tools that works there. If you take a look at my lines over here, there, right? If you saw some of the line that I that I that you actually draw, yeah, last week. Some of you guys, I know that you guys have a, a right kind of potentials to draw. See how I actually draw the fit there, okay? I did not actually draw and combine all the line. Okay? This is a trick of the drawings there. Try not to combine those lines there. Remember one thing, we're not actually doing a coloring book kind of exercise there. If you saw some coloring books that, that you actually write, you actually choose to have draw before there, right? So if you take a look at how actually I move my hands here to draw these areas, right? The coloring books basically, they use a lot of combining line there, okay? The line always want to join all together, right? But this one, or okay, this exercise, you need to compromise, you need to improvise those line. See, when I move my hands, you guys can see clearly, right? I actually move my hands here so follow exactly the way that I move my hands here okay follow exactly there right? okay if you see so how actually I move so right okay? I don't know how, how to move there right okay check look how I actually move my hands right here and also how actually I collaborate my hands with the with the flow that I try to adjust and draw right okay? Even though some of the areas not quite right when I draw it, okay, but you can see the quality of lines over here, guys. Quality of lines. Here. Right. Okay, these areas, the patterns there, right? Okay, what you can do? See? I'm not coloring there, okay? Don't use word coloring there. I'm shading there. Shading there, right? shadings there see so if you want to get a lot of details of course you will take a lot of time there so learn to be patient 
to learn from this process. Right? Every movement that you use to draw, to, right, to start with, there, right? try to learn with passion. There. Always zoom in, control plus, zoom out your drawings there. Or you can use control spacebar to move, zoom in, click the right, alternate to zoom out there. All right. Don't just draw from this angle there, okay? And then you want to move your uh, head straight to the monitors like this there, okay? We have the privilege to zoom in and zoom out, okay? You can zoom in, zoom out using those key. When you draw, use those key that you move there. It will take quite a while, I think, if you don't practice a lot. Okay, practice every day. That's why I say, right, practice every day to move. Get used to it, okay, because this kind of things, normally, right, okay, it will take a few minutes only, right, or a few hours maybe just to get used to it. Once you actually, right, comfortable enough to work with this kind of methods there, so this is the shadows, shades there, right, so we cover that area there. It will be more, right, it, they will, you won't be able to have right, like awkward kind of moments anymore there, right, with this kind of way of working there. So these areas, I'm at some shadings, they're not coloring there. Remember that, right, I'm shading there, see? The way I shade there, right? Yeah. Shades there. We are not actually draw the line like this and then color the right. Shades the right. We are not actually do the line like this right about shades there. But control the shades there. Right. Those are the things that are important right now when it comes to develop those kind of understanding. And of course, in digital medias, if you add some shadings, for example, right, this is the outline there, right? You have to change brushes. If you use pencil, you can use the same pencil to add some shadings and the draw outline at the same time. But using Photoshop or using digital medias, when you do some shadings, as I told you just now, there are again, you have to change brushes like this, change the flows, then paint it up there, right? For example, like that. Huh? Okay. So paint it up like this. So what some of the reasons we have to use lasso tools. This one there, right? Lasso tools. Feathers has to be zero there first. And then do some selections. Click to the areas over here. Move the line like this. All right. Click shift to continue. Do some selections here. Click shift. For example, like this. All right. Okay, this is a little bit advanced for you guys. Maybe there, okay, I don't know because I think some of you guys have the certain kind of skill that you guys can improvise that you can actually explore, right? So there's a line over here that about the right for those leaves there, right? Here. So we can actually work that later on. So what you can do here, right? I don't want to buy this watch. These brushes, soft brushes there maybe, if you can find some of the soft brushes, mm -hmm. like air brushes, soft brushes there, right? What you can do, it's just the flows until 5%, 2%, 3%, there, right? It's just the size and paint. Okay. For example, like this. Close the layers back again, and you can see the shadows there, the shades there, right? Okay. You need to create some sort of soft line over here. You can use erasers, change the flow a little bit. Erasers also can use flows, you know, and you can blend it up. Uh, okay. Yeah. Blend it up. Right? Tap a little bit, you can if you want, there right? tap a little bit, also can, right? You want to have a very good kind of control, change the size of the flow state. 
the, the pressure strokes are the flows that you can get. Okay, that's basically the tactics you use the YouTube. One of the basic techniques you use the YouTube. Thing. Right, let me go back into our drawings line. Okay, okay this is basically a shadows line. Right. These are going to be the drawing line. All right, so today, basically, this week, we are going to focus more on the drawing line okay try to get the very clean kind of line there right you can change this now which is brushes brushes line right the brushes kind of we call that erases the line there right so what i can do zoom in a bit move the line one step at a time there use space bar there right get space bar to move right to the areas that you want to draw there, right? Remember, right, okay, our task is right now to draw, not to trace. So I'm going to render a little bit some etchings using the same directions there. See the way I do, do my rendering, right? Okay? Same directions there, right? Same goes to these areas. If I want to render there, right, I can render like this one there. Soft kind of line. I saw some of you guys try to do some etching kind of lines, but suddenly become a bit more messy there, right? So what you can do, you can practice this one there, right? Draw the same direction as this, right? So draw the same direction here. Right, this is what we call the. One single stroke etching there, right? Okay, not cross etching there. One single stroke etching there. Right? Same goes to this. This etching techniques, right? Okay, using single strokes line to indicate the difference between shadows areas. For example, the shadows areas for those who actually have a zero knowledge of drawing, the right? And the solid areas, the light areas, right? So we have the light and shadows there, right? Okay? So this is sometimes we can actually want to create some form basically using this etching kind of techniques there, right? Single strokes kind of etching there. Sometimes we will just want to show some depth of fields of the lay of the areas there, right? Okay? Something like this one, right? To make it the drawings a little bit more have the aesthetical values there, right? Okay? That's why when you saw some people can draw well there, right? Okay? They use this kind of techniques a lot when you draw there. But Try to use one single line tactics or strokes that fits if you don't know how to draw or using those cross etching here. Just to show a depth of fields, to show the quality and also to show a bit kind of details there on your line there. Okay? So the quality of your drawings when you draw like this one, right? They become look a little bit more like the Professional drawings. Yeah. It will take time right, okay, to understand how all the things are going to be worked. But the tip is practice and practice and practice. I'm going to share later on in our Google Classroom at least 10. 10 minimum kind of reference that you guys can use to practice your hands to draw. Why I give you guys 10 drawings every week is a minimum minimum kind of what we call that uh, amount of drawings that you need to work. Okay, 10, not 5, but 10. Minimum. So I want you guys to focus on this technique. That is. We are not tracings. All right. Let me remind you guys back. We are not doing some tracing techniques. We are using observations, drawing techniques on top of the layers if you use Photoshop. Okay. Okay. If you use. Uh,
if you seem to use sketchbooks, okay? Sketchbooks here. All right. So pencil has to be sharp already all the time. Don't use, don't use pencil mechanical thing. Okay? Those kind kind of pencil is for architectures kind of drawing too, okay? But if you want to draw manga directly or anime styles, maybe suitable for that. But I don't actually recommend you guys to use those. Basically, my kind of drawing tools, I didn't actually write. I live at our college there. Pro is hard for me basically to, to get, right? Okay? But okay, it's okay. I'm going to use color pencils that we use. Let so me use color pencils here to show you guys how it works. Hopefully, you can direct. Even though it's not that quite uh, what we call that thick there, right? Okay. Who is this, right? Show yourself color, okay? Yeah, don't do huh? All right. Sanjay, right here, you just saw, you just actually picked up your snow, right here. I don't, gado gado, right? All right, so let me show a bit, right here, how actually you're going to use this traditional media, right here, to works. Okay, if you seem to use color pencils that work, or drawing pen, and maybe, or pen, right here. Draw the basic structures there first. Uh, right, okay? Draw the basic structures there. Okay? This is the circle for the... For the skulls. I think there is a uh, half of the... What we call that, that fruits over there. Right, draw the circles like this. Right. Everything came from the basic structures of circles, of boxes there may be, all right? The lines, the flows of the line. So everything has to be looked into that, this kind of circles of line that is. So it's quite, for those who doesn't have enough kind of skill, they're going to be a little bit more hard life for you to work, right? This is the starting point. How actually you can actually work with your drawings there. I don't know whether you guys can see it right or not. Okay, clear enough or not. Okay, you guys can see there, right? Start with the basic structures like this when you want to draw. Understand the whole structures that first that you draw. Okay, before you add all those details. There. So before you're going to add okay, this kind of detail, for example, say, even though I didn't look at those pictures there right again, I try to what we call that memorize a little bit there right again, some of the areas here. But not not actually right just to draw exactly or, or what we call that try to get enough details yet what we can do try to get a little bit further more on the structures okay one step at a time before you add some details there. that's how actually we learn back again to draw, all right? A lot of people make mistakes. They simply, you want to draw like this one, right? Like this, drawing. This is wrong way of drawing, okay? This is not the right way to draw. This is the right way to draw. Move your hands slowly get the structures right there to work there. How are you going to see all these kind of things? 
Okay, let me show you guys how actually I saw this kind of things using the digital media there. Okay, when people actually learn to observe things, right? Okay, I'm going to use soft line that is there. Okay. Soft kind of line here. This is what people see. Okay, I saw this kind of structures here. Using structures line over here. Right? This basis kind of alignments. Okay. When it comes to draw shapes there, I think, of any kind of pictures there, I think. This one, there's a circle line over here that aim for the structures there, I think. We saw the 3D kind of looks there, right? Three, di three dimensional kind of looks there. So you must be able to break, to separate all these kind of structures line. Like this, not detail, huh? Okay, you must be able to draw like this first. Okay, all the structures line first, right? Before you're going to draw something like this. Okay, even though I show you guys directly when I draw those using digitals control your line like this one there, right? But you must be able to draw also like this one there, right? You control your strokes and line. Understand the whole structures of every shape there, right? Uh, when you actually want to draw any kind of drawings of this, right? Understand first, okay, this is not the shape look like this, huh? Don't draw like this one, but try to draw the basic structures here from the object that you're going to draw, all right? Using a very simple kind of line there, okay? This is uh, alignments, right? From these pictures there, break into shapes. Right, this is the curve line for these areas. Because we don't understand all this kind of understanding of this kind of structures line there. We won't be able to draw and see things in the right way. And of course, they need a lot of practice there. Right? To get it right. Render and etching there. So each one of you guys, before you're going to draw like this, get the basic structures there first. Change the flows around 16 using the same brushes that you used to draw. I'm using all media web flow brush, but I changed the strokes there, the the size into more smaller there, okay? It works there. 20 points maybe can be done there, right? Depending. Or you can use different brushes that you want there, right? As long as you can get it right. Change the size of the brushes and draw. Right? Easy for you to work with. So any questions so far? So the drawings are going to be look a little bit more like this here, right? Because you have to understand one thing there. When we draw humans later on or any kind of objects, right? Let's just say human being there again. We start with this kind of basic structures here. Draw humans there. Or draw any characters right here, like anime, manga characters, like all the basic structures are going to be look like this first. Alignment of the eyes, same with the ears, the nose, mouth there. Right, draw the shapes of the nose over here, shapes of the mouth, eyes. All these triangle kind of shapes there, maybe some hair stroke and shapes. Right, you have to practice this kind of line there, right? Okay? One step at a time there when you draw. Eyebrows over here. Then what you can do at the layers 
adjust the flu, just the brushes and colors there. Then you will actually, right, learn to draw that thing and add some details there. But before this kind of process also, right, we have different kind of exercise that might help you to work with the understanding to draw the structures right. So basically those structures, I'm not actually just use them exactly at the straight way, but I improvise them back based on my understanding because maybe when I sketch, they're not a little bit accurate there, right? Okay. So all these kind of tips, we will go into our exercise or maybe lecturing kind of classes that I'm going to show you guys how actually we see all these kind of things later on. But practice your line at this year. Now on, practice your line at this day. If you see me, you can draw any kind of characters. Start with this kind of line there, right? Okay. When we draw traditionally, also the same thing. Right? Same thing there, right? Okay. Any questions so far? There are going to be 10 different kind of pictures that I'm going to share in our Google Classrooms. Take those pictures, right, and then work on them directly. I'm going to send first this first picture, the second pictures I think I have the right again. So at least you guys can get those ideas where you want to go from here. So normally in exercise, I did not actually write. have a proper kind of brief there, right? okay, whatever they actually write, do it in our classrooms that based on my planning there right, again okay, from the exercise, you need to work on it. All right, we have one picture here. This is the first picture that we have. Right. Let me change this okay for you guys. Oh, never mind already. I'm using the original pictures, so I let you actually change the the colors there, okay? The version of these colors there. And this is number two, number two and number three there. Right? So we get around eight more there, I think. Pictures that to use. Okay. All right. Ten difference. All right. Still live photos. Need to draw. by working with a brush drawing strokes deadline week three right for each group practical class such as task okay so 
submissions in Google Class Focus. Full based by This one testing brushes. Exercises. Great. Could that mean there's an eleven kind of drawing exercise that you have to be complete, okay? Go to eleven page drawing. Okay. Size A four. All right. Most of the still lives are going to be in landscapes format, right? 11 inch times 8 inch, right? Okay. Resolutions are going to be 150 dpi only, right? All right. Files format is JPEG files there, right? All right, that's it. So how are we going to present them, right? What you can do, you have these pictures there. Yeah? Duplicate these pictures. Duplicate A is there. All right, control key transform scale. Put it right here, okay, as a reference. Okay, and then what you can do right from these brushes there, right? Uh, from this uh, drawing there, right? Put the names here, your names. Just now, actually, how actually uh, right. G1, one for example, there, week two, exercise number two. Okay. Okay. All right. If you want to put the date, the dates there, right here, when you draw. 24, 6, 2020. So we know basically where or when actually you set it or you, you complete those words there, right? Next thing is save the files. JPEG. Okay. Simple there, right? So the next thing is I'm going to send the samples there for you then. Files. This is the samples there, right? All right, 
this is the one. You can, you can actually write, check that again. The exercise. Okay. Right. Maybe, right, I didn't actually write down. It's a basically the basics. Constructive align structures there. All right, these are going to be those clean up line directly. Okay? Clean up line or strokes there. Right? For your drawings there, maybe you can add some shades of shadows there, all right, if you want to, right, these areas is shading there, right, techniques, not coloring there, all right, techniques. Remember that. Okay. Uh, what else that we can do from here, basically? Okay. If you take closely, we can actually indicate some shadow shades there. Why actually we do this kind of shadow shades there? Right? To show basically these, uh, what we call that, this picture doesn't actually float in there. Right? Okay. Maybe I can save either. So you want to add another more variety. I'm going to add a bit right here. Kind of instructions that I actually did from there. Right, as I actually write uh, this, this uh, one or two days there again, previously, I hardly actually can access to upload the videos there again. Maybe I'm going to reduce a bit on the size. If I can get chances to use Adobe Premiere that to add it back again and render them the size there again. So I'm going to explore a bit from there because I haven't actually installed the Adobe Premiere there for, for my videos there already. So I'm going to work on that. So shading is not that compulsory at the moment. But you can try to experiment them. That's why they can actually focus a bit more from there, the right thing. But you can actually try them. It works. Uh, if I have a little bit kind of times, I'm going to uh, what we call that. Uh, do some demonstrations from other groups that I can actually upload back again in our YouTube if I actually want to work with those some shadings there. So do uh, go through with my YouTube channel that works, right? So if you want to subscribe, more better because I don't know whether actually right. I want to monetize those kind of videos or not, right? Okay, but basically, I'm still things. I did all these kind of videos. It's only for the students, for my students there, right? Okay, right. Uh, exclusively for you and some of the students from other college that can actually get some benefit on the videos there. Right? So it's okay if you want to subscribe here. Then at least. Maybe in the future we can monetize them, okay? But I'm afraid because I some of the videos I'm using the one of the few music there, okay? Some of the music because I normally actually love to work with the music on them, right? So I don't know, okay? But up to me, right? It's okay because I think the YouTube also can mute some of the music that actually that restriction for some of the uh, stage or areas there, okay? But it's not that quite. Uh, what we call that uh, importance there, but the problem is when actually right, 
use the music at the same time I'm talking about okay. So and the voice of the mute, people cannot actually get some ideas from there. But it's not a big deal there, don't worry there, right? Because it's my kind of things that I have to solve that okay. But of course, okay, please check back again the YouTube, okay, if I can manage to work with those kind of uh, what we call that uh, uploading back again with the minimum kind of size that required there right with the right kind of qualities that i want but so far you guys don't have any problem right except those videos okay if there is some sort of lagging whatever that you can let me improve Right on the presentation itself, right? Okay, especially technical side. Please let me know there, okay? Okay, please let me know. Don't be shy to give me a little bit kind of uh, improvement from there, right? Share some other thing that you like, want to see, right? In order to develop your kind of understanding, there, okay? So, thank you very much, everyone, right, for having me here today. And please don't skip the class. If you still want to skip, don't forget to check your my YouTube there, okay? To get to know a bit more from there, okay? That means the privilege that you guys have, skip the class, you still can change to other groups there if you want to have the stream online session with me. Okay? So if you don't have your tablets, work with your sketchbook first, don't worry. The methods, the tactics are going to be the same. Okay? So, so thank you very much. Yes. Uh, I got questions. If I don't have a tablet, right, for the exercise one, the circle ones, how do I shade it? Uh, I don't have to uh, brush. Draw. Using pencil, right? Just like I did, it's not a rugged using this pencil there, right? So, so I just shade it. Okay, for example, here. You shade using... Uh, if you have to shade using pencils, there's a two different way of working there, okay, or holding the pencils. First one, you can hold like this, and shade there, right? Okay? And control the pressures there. Try to control the Some of the areas you want to press a little bit. Some of the areas you can actually soft a little bit there. That's how you actually can practice the flows of your strokes. And if you use the, like a writing, holding pencils, right, okay, kind of positions, you can actually draw back back and forth and control the pressures there. Right? Back and forth and control the pressures there. You see that? Because these two methods of working with traditionals, especially the second one, is really, really helpful when you want to draw using those tablets. And because when the engineers build the tablets, Purposely, basically, for the artist to work with digital media. So without having this understanding on how using the proper kind of flow and strokes using those tablets, your line will get it become ugly. Right? You're not going to have the right kind of strokes and line to work. So, okay? for example, if I want to share before we meet, dismiss there, right? Uh, let me check here. For example, like what you guys have experienced before. Let me see. Mm. Okay, read one there. Okay. For example, like this drawing here. Right. I bet at this stage you will know, okay? You should experiments and try to develop understanding what are the mistakes okay like this one there okay see the line no quality of line right the line also hesitates a lot there's a light gap between every strokes there a lot of hesitations the strokes the line also a little bit dirty and ugly there right okay so this is not a proper way to use those tablets can you see the line there, right? Okay. It's just like a fur there, right? Okay. It's not actually like the right kind of etching strokes that you use. Because all the line basically don't have any quality of line. There is no kind of thick and thinness kind of line there. So 
know, those are the things that you should worry when you draw in this tablet. If you cannot get it right, you need to fix that up in the, the way that you hold your pants, the way you move the flows, or maybe the technical side that you have from those tablets that you need to software or anything. But most of it is basically the way you draw. Most of it. The way you hold your pencil, the way you move your hands, the flows, feel the strokes. That's what I said, okay? The connection between us, mind, and hands has to be connected together when you draw, when you develop your skills. If you cannot connect all these three elements together, you won't be able to get it right. Okay? All right, thanks. So, all right, thank you very much there. Um, right. Sir, I so have one question. Sorry to interrupt. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, last week, okay. I sent my document and I named it wrongly. Is it okay? The document you can resend, okay. resend yeah, it. If you can resend back again. Yeah. Okay. Because you didn't actually write down the name there, right? Yeah, yeah. Good. yeah. Because, because from now on, better rename your files or rename basically because I, because for Google Classroom, I have to bundle all your, all seven groups together there, right? So that means if you say it or if it seems that when I evaluate your words, when I give you give those marks, I cannot find your names, at least we have the backup kind of mechanism that we have right now that you rename your files there, right? You have the proof from there, right? Okay. Because Zi Ying, Zi Nam, right, all these names that I have to memorize, okay, I won't be able to remember the whole names there. Normally, I can remember face, normally there. Okay, names, normally when people have problems with the issues with the attendance, I will remember the names there. Right. Right. The one who actually doesn't have any problems, don't worry, is there, right, okay? Even though I cannot remember your names, I might not like remember your face there, I think. All right, thank you very much. Have a nice day. All right, thank Hopefully you, you, sir. Gain something yes, sir. from here today. So have a nice day. Good luck with your exercise, okay? Don't be lazy, right? Thank you, sir.